What is going on, my peoples, my peoples, people, and my plant people? So today is uh, New Year's Eve, um, and uh, I just really want to like I'm about to do like some uh, early spring cleaning. So I've been a little neglectful of my plants, and uh, these next couple couple videos are going to be me kind of getting it back on track but today I'm gonna go through and pretty much water everything take off dead leaves I'm not going to repot anything like I said that'll be some episodes coming up soon it has been like in the last two weeks it's been like really cold in uh, Atlanta like in about the 2030s it's just getting up to like the 50s now and maybe about 55 now um, so I had my heater on because in this room here, it's not insulated like the rest of the house. So I just pretty much kept that on and a lot of plants kind of dried out. You'll see I have like a lot of, well, a few yellow leaves. Um, so I want to pretty much just kind of take it all back, check out all my dead leaves, water everything. So this is pretty much going to be a cleanup before the new year um, video. Um, I'll show you how I mass water my plants. Um, I'm gonna need to take some of my bigger plants and water those things down. Um, maybe you might learn something on here. If you have any questions for sure, let me know. Um, I'll show you how I fertilize certain plants, um, even if they're big and I have to mass water them so um that's what this video is gonna be about so um as always um if you like this type of content definitely subscribe um comment down below um definitely ring that bell keep checking me out um i am jamon uh plant or uh, jamonji plants so um yeah let's get into it here we go so I'm first gonna just show you plants that uh, are not doing its best, and then um, I'll proceed to um, taking care of them. Up here I have my, I think it's called a rubri something, um, a calathea, and this thing is like all the way dry. It's one of those dramatic plants, so if you water it, um, it will typically raise back up. It may not, I don't know, I might lose it. Um, I hope I don't. Um, but I'll see what that's about. Um, this here is okay. My um, Ruby Cantum Red. I definitely need to cut and prop this here because that's not getting no love. Um, dead leaf on a philodendron uh, splendia. Splendia. So I need to definitely uh, go ahead and take that leaf off there. Ain't nothing gonna go there. Um, this leaf right here is doing really good on the, uh, I forgot what it is. Uh, Lamenia. There we go. I remember. Lamenia. Okay. These are doing really well. And I think last time I called this like a Florida ghost, I think this might be a pendant. Um, but yeah, this one needs a little water. You can tell right here on the burly marks that that's pretty dry there. Um my steeple blue definitely needs like a repot um a snip and chop whatnot uh snip and prop because that's not doing too good my um billetier definitely needs some love here um these things right here i don't know this is a whole little cluster folk here but uh yeah look at that it just ran to the light and just got burnt down uh i'm gonna go ahead and change that up my 6-9, Philodendron 6 is not looking its best. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off whatever leaves I need to down and, uh, you know, do whatever I need. Um, I forgot the name of this plant, but this one started growing on the wall, which was pretty dope. But if you don't water it, oh shoot. But if you don't water it, of course, it will um, get very, you know, thin and whatnot like this right here kind of attracts back so it needs to get itself together here i have my monstera uh, tie and i don't know why that right there 
They can't even focus on it. But it is uh, black at the tip, so that's not gonna look good once it come out. Um, maybe the body will. Um, down in here, definitely have a lot of yellowing. This anthurium right here, I think I'm gonna put it in LECA because this uh, medium right here just dries out too quick. So I may just take this and put it on top of some LECA. Um, but right now it's just not looking good in here. It dried out um, my prop box. So I'm definitely gonna have to look at what's in here. What can I um, salvage? And then, uh, you know, just act accordingly. So, yeah. Uh, this right here is crazy. These just grow and I really need to like repot these. So I may actually do that on here. Um, I'm just gonna put it in a pot, kind of like my philodendron. Um, nope, anthurium. Oh man, anthurium radicans. If you remember from my last little episode, um, this here is actually doing really well. That new leaf is really gorgeous. I can't wait because it's gonna be really big. Just if that was the last leaf, this one right here, then this one right here is gonna probably topple that one. If not, the same. Um, I definitely like my monstera obliqua is yellowing. So, and then this right here just has runners. Even though off the side, off the back side, it started growing leaves. So I'm actually okay with that. Um, I don't know what to do with these runners here. I always know that they have runners, but I don't know. This here is, I don't know what this is at this point. I think it's a monstera of uh, Peru. And uh, yeah, you can see this yellow leaf here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off there and uh, see what I can do. Um, this Sotoroi Sotorini actually looking pretty good right now. Um, my mic is just with cutting. Um, those things grow like um, pathos. So they just grow, they just really grow. So I'm gonna do something about that. Uh, my anthuriums in here are looking okay. See some different coloring in there. But um, we will figure it out. Um, that moss came back alive. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, we're going to figure that one out. My wavy boy is still doing good. Um, this is probably an Esmeralda dance or something like that. So, we'll figure that out. Um, definitely need to figure this one out here. I think it's a Clarinuvium. Um, I need to do something with that one. Is it? Yes, a clarinivian, anthurium clarinivian. I need this one with that. My allocations are just not looking their best right now. Um, a lot of them are dried out. The heater actually comes this way. Not directly pointed at it, but close enough. So I definitely need to you know, water those. Probably repot a lot of these, to tell you the truth. Um, my cupria, um, I mean, cupria is just gonna die back. It will, probably would be good to repot. But I'll probably do a whole uh, alocasia, um, a whole alocasia um, video. Yeah, that's my trash there. I know I need to take that out. Um, let me see. This baby right here is doing good. My ivy, uh, that's doing pretty okay. I need to rewater this because this thing is kind of getting a little droopy. I definitely need to cut this right here. This is a rock of the four, and it's growing way too well. Um, fried dick here and uh, uh, allocation fried dick so I definitely need to get that together um, but yeah so this is kind of what I'm working with and then I'll probably go to my um, greenhouse and probably do some work there too and so let's go over there right now so this is pretty much just my um, kind of uh, climate plant hanging plant type of uh, bookshelf. And you can kind of see some plants here a little um, weepy. So I definitely need to um, tag this over here and just walk over here real quick. And uh, yeah, you can see some browning in there. Definitely need to clean that glass off. Um, it's not looking too good, people. It's not looking too good. And then over here, Actually, it's pretty green over here, <laughs> to take it true. Uh, but I definitely see like some dead leaves down there and my little anthuriums down here. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up. And uh, yeah, my uh, Florida ghost here, like a 
definitely need some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, I'll speed it up. And uh, towards the end, I'll kind of talk through what I did or what I'm doing. It's kind of self explained itself. It explains itself, there we go. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it in three, two, one. <laughs> I use kind of like different mixtures just just to kind of switch it up sometime but uh, one thing that I want to of course use more of is cow mag um, I always hear really good stuff about this this helps uh, with foliage with uh, the leaves actually coming out and looking like really beautiful and bright and um, green or whatever um, color they're supposed to really look so it helps um, it's calcium and magnesium uh, supplement so this uh, helps a lot Next thing I have here is great white. Great white is a fungi. It's used for uh, building like bacteria, um, which is really good for the roots. So I always try to put something like um, root growth in there. And then this one here is called uh, Joyful Dirt. It's, um, it says it's an all purpose. Um, it says happy dirt, happy plants or whatnot. I only have a little bit of this, so I was just gonna use the rest of this um, today. And um, yeah, so I'm uh, just water my plants like that. And then this will be the fertilizer that I'll use today. So pretty easy. I'll put this stuff in a mixture of water and then I'll try to um, mix these pretty equally. Um, you'll see that it's um, typically dark, um, which is good. Um, these waters have been just sitting like overnight for like 24 hours just to kind of get the uh, chlorine out of it. So um, that's gonna help as well. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and get into it and mix it up. Thank you. 
So right now I typically just take them out and put them on the ledge. Um, another good thing about uh, watering your plants like this, um, the leaves also get cleaned off, which is a good thing because there's probably like a lot of dust and stuff like that that I typically wouldn't get when I'm just doing watering. So this will definitely help. So yep, um, I'm putting it down in the water. So now what I want to do is just kind of go through and uh, take off dead leaves. That water that I just made, I'm actually going to put it into the different water reservoirs. Um, and I also have my rag here because if you can kind of see, maybe not, um, there is some like dirt on the rails. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything actually out. I'm going to clean up the rails, take off the dirty, I mean the, the dead leaves and just make it brand new really just give it a refresh maybe not make it brand new but give make it refreshed so here we go Thank you. 
So y'all know how this gonna go. 
little bit over halfway done. So now I'm gonna start taking stuff in here. I'm gonna take it to the sink and then I'm gonna water it that way. Um, all the closed vessels, I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the solution. And uh, yeah, we almost done, baby. <laughs>
think I started about 10, uh, about 10.30, and I ended around maybe about 12.31. So typically I don't do that, but I have been kind of lacking a little bit. So I had to um, get to it. Um, there's a lot of things that I need to propagate because they have just pretty much outgrown um, what they are living in and their living space and things like that. And there's some things that just kind of like need to move around or whatnot. Um, but that'll be happening in the next couple of videos. I know I want to do like a propagation video, um, just kind of like a miniature one or whatnot. Um, I had this like little propagation station that has like six bottles in it and stuff like that but y'all will see that one later but um like i said typically i don't um water in one day um, i typically just like every every day i'll just like you know check my plants check for bugs check the soil check the leka um and it makes it a lot easier um which probably takes me maybe like 10 15 minutes a day so sometimes I'll go straight to the greenhouse and I'll go ahead and fill that one up. Or I'll come in here and I'll do this one. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much it there. Um, but if you have made it to the end, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate you. Um, and yeah, just thank you, you know, because this is fun. I like doing this, but um, yeah, so I don't really do New Year's resolution, but I will say I'm pretty excited to start doing my internship next year um, in early January and then start working with the young men's group with uh, one of my friends, Mia. So um, that is what's going to be new for me. But if you do do New Year's resolutions, um, definitely drop it below. Um, I think it's always good to, you know, just not settle and uh, be looking for something new in life. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoy some of the plants maybe you've never seen before or kind of how crazy it is with plant people, especially if you um, don't take time to com uh, compartmentalize your plants. It can definitely be a lot um, for me. I don't even feel like I have a lot of plants. I know it probably seems like it, but I think maybe because I have had them so long, I guess I don't even think of it that way. But uh, yeah, that was a good two hours of mental clarity. I wasn't really thinking about much, so that's why I really love to do it. I don't really, cause I'm, I'm a therapist, you know, I'm a therapist and a counselor. So most time I'm always, I'm always thinking. With that, I don't have to think. So that was a good two hours that I didn't have to think. I actually thought of a business idea, but that'll be coming up maybe, of course next year, where I'm gonna put that together. So um, like I said, if you still care this long, I appreciate you, like, for real, for real. And uh, until next time, love, peace, and...